In today's podcast, a look at the ballad Mary Hamilton, also known as the Four Marys. A look at the background to the ballad and show its printing history. I'll sing some tunes linked to the ballad and end on a full performance of the ballad. Word went up and word went down and word went through the hole that Mary mild is great with child to the highest steward of all. Down then came the old queen, gold tassels tying her hair. Oh, Mary, where's that bonny wee babe that I had greed so sad? They've sorted up and they've sorted down and in below the bed. And there they found the little babe, I wallowing in its blood. I won't put on the black, the black, nor will I put on the brown, but I'll put on the sky blue silk to shine over Edinburgh town. That tune was collected by James Duncan in 1909 from William Wallace of Leeshell Kushner near Aberdeen. He'd learnt the song from his mother. A young woman has had a child out of wedlock to a person holding a high position in the royal court. She kills the baby in order to hide its existence. She is accused of the murder and condemned to hang. In most versions, she reflects that she was one of four other Marys who attended the Queen. The ballad is Scottish and seems to have been exclusively sung in Scotland. I can't find any collected English or Irish versions. The song did travel to North America, probably with the Scottish emigrants, and versions have been collected quite widely in the USA. The ballad is relatively new in ballad terms. It seems to have been written in the early 1700s. The earliest reference to the ballad that I can find is a verse quoted by Robert Burns in a letter of 1790. To a Mrs. Dunlop. This is printed in Francis James Child's English and Scottish popular songs. Child also included several versions held in manuscript from the 1820s by William Motherwell. The first book printed in 1802 in Minstrelsy of the Scottish Border, edited by Sir Walter Scott under the title The Queen's Mary. The earliest tunes were held in manuscript form in the 1820s by William Blakey and later printed in Bertram Bronson's traditional tunes of the child ballads. The most popular tune for the ballad, Mary Hamilton, was printed in the Thistle magazine in 1884. Variations of this tune can be found in those collected in Scotland and the USA, and from traditional singers ranging from Jeannie Robertson of Aberdeenshire in Scotland to Texas Gladden of Virginia in the USA. I will end this podcast with that tune. A tune for Mary Hamilton was written down by Amelia and Jane Harris of Perthshire in the 1830s. It had been learned in the late 1700s. It was printed in the Chow Collection, and the ballad sounds like this. Queen Mary, she came down the stair, we go combed in her hair. Mary Hamilton, where is the babe? I heard crying so sad. It's no a babe, a babe so fair, nor ever intends to be. But myself, with sore colic, was seeking far to die. They searched the bed up and down, from pillow to the straw. And there they got my little babe, but its life was far away. Estreen the Queen at four Marys, this night she'll have but three. There was Mary Beaton, and Mary Seaton, and Mary Carmichael and me. Estreen the Queen at four Marys, this night she'll have but three. For the bonniest Mary among them all was hanged upon a tree. The background to the ballad is also rather confused, with several possible scenarios claiming to be the true story of the ballad. Mary Stuart, daughter of James V of Scotland, 
succeeded the throne of Scotland when she was six days old. When she was six years old, she was sent to France for safety reasons and because she was betrothed to Francis the Dauphin, who later became Francis II of France. They married in 1558, when Mary was 16. Legend has it that she had four Scottish ladies in waiting during her stay in France, all of whom had the first name Mary, and were named the Four Marys. The names were Mary Beaton, Mary Seaton, Mary Livingston, and Mary Fleming. There's no mention of a Mary Hamilton. When her husband died two years after their marriage, she returned to Scotland together with the four ladies in waiting. Five years later, she married her cousin, Henry Stuart, known as Lord Darnley. Darnley was not a faithful husband, and the marriage was said to be an unhappy one. Legend has it that Mary Hamilton had a child to Henry Stuart, and to conceal the illegitimate birth, either suffocated the child or sent it out to sea in a basket. The legend comes apart when we consider there's no record of a Mary Hamilton in the Queen's Court, nor any record of a child murder linked to Darnley. Another scenario links the song to an affair between a French woman in waiting and the Queen's apothecary, where a charge of infanticide was claimed and both were hanged in 1563. Another scenario takes us to the court of Peter the Great of Russia in 1718, where a Miss Hambleton was a lady in waiting to the Empress Catherine, she was accused of infanticide and executed. It's clear that the ballad does not, in fact, relate to any specific crime and punishment, but it's likely to be a new composed ballad of the early 1700s, using the apocryphal stories as a framework. The popular choice of the background story is the Mary Queen of Scots version. Mary was deposed from the Scottish throne in 1567 on the death of Darnley, who was murdered. She was forced to marry James Hepburn, the 4th Earl of Boswell, and was later imprisoned by Elizabeth I of England, and eventually beheaded in a supposed plot to depose the Queen. The background stories provide an interesting colourful history, but make of them as you will. The song became popular again after a recording was made in the early 1960s by Joan Byers, a popular American folk song revivalist singer. This was taken up by singers on both sides of the Atlantic, and was heard quite regularly during the folk song revival of the 1960s and 70s. The ballad itself has some interesting textual variations together with some fine tunes, enough for a singer to adopt a favourite version and always please an audience. I will end this podcast with the tune that was first printed in 1884. It's a very popular and romantic tune. The words are from the Motherwell manuscripts. Word is to the kitchen gone, and word is to the hall, and word is up to Madam the Queen, and that's the worst of all. That Mary Hamilton has borne a babe to the highest steward of all. O oh, rise, arise, Mary Hamilton. Arise and tell to me What hast thou done with thy wee babe? I so unheard weep by thee. I put him in a little boat And cast him out to sea That he might sink or he might swim But he'd never come back to me. O oh, rise, arise, Mary Hamilton, arise and come with me. There is a wedding in Edinburgh town, this night we'll go and see. She put not on her robes of black, nor her robes of brown, but she put on her robes of white. To ride into Edinburgh town. And as she rode into Edinburgh town, The city for to see, The bailiff's wife and the provost's wife Cried out, and alas for thee. Ye need not weep for me, she cried, Ye need not weep for me. For had I not slain my own wee babe, 
This death I would not die. Oh, little did my mother think when first she cradled me. The lands I was to travel in and the death I was to die. Last night I washed the queen's feet and put the gold in her hair. And the only reward I find for this, the gallows to be my share. Cast off, cast off my gown, she cried, but let my petticoat be. And tie a napkin round my face, the gallows I would not see. Last night there were four Marys, Tonight there'll be but three. There was Mary Beaton and Mary Seaton and Mary Carmichael and me.